materials use, it's there's a huge amount of waste at the moment and I think it's been dealt with at the site level so far but it needs to be dealt with far more at the design stage. So BS 8895 is important because the need to reduce the amount of waste generated in building projects is quite a big need for the country. Adopting uh, BS 8895 means that the design team can think about the reduction of waste at the very early stages of the process. From a business perspective, it will put the architect using BS 8895 in a strong position in terms of successful tenders in the future and it will enhance their corporate social responsibility and at the same time it will help and support the client to come up with the project that they are less costly in terms of material and from a design perspective we have designed it in a way it's sequential from part one to part four so it's a very easy way of integrating the principles of material efficiency within conventional design processes. I really hope this standard, part two of the standard, gives um, architects and designers the guidance and the tools they need to really address material efficiency within the concept and develop design stages. One of the key benefits of material resource efficiency is the, is the business benefits. So what we mean by that is the cost savings. So really the cost savings for producing less waste, using less materials, cost savings through the construction program in terms of looking at different techniques which may address material efficiency but also have savings in terms of the um, program such as prefabrication and also looking at it in terms of the whole life cycle of the building and there may be cost savings in terms of how buildings are maintained and refurbished. The one key thing I'll take away is how practical the standard is and how helpful it will be. Well, I'm actually in the process of um, trying to establish what materials efficiency means for our project and how we're going to implement it and also to give guidance to our future suppliers about how they can implement it. So a series of standards on this topic is really important for us. BS 8895 is useful because it gives uh, designers sort of clear or relatively clear um, tools and checklists in order to make sure that they are designing for material efficiency. There is money to be saved, it's just that we need to be able to make the case to the developer or to the, the, the customer who's paying for the project. So BS 8895 was always designed to be a multi-part standard, that's what uh, industry and users wanted. Uh, so the next stages for part three uh, work to start on, on the development of part three. There are no legislative requirements for the moment for architects to design out waste, but it is anticipated that future um, EU legislation and UK legislation will put a weight for the architect to, to do something about waste in the design process.